Welcome everyone, we would like to introduce our art generator. We developed this project as a part of the course Design and Realization of High Performance Multimedia and Human Computer Interaction Systems at Hasselt University. The purpose of the art generator is to define some simple random behavior and let the user be surprised by the cool output art. We created the system in Virilog and implemented it on the Altera DE270. We created three different art generators. Every art generator contains an amount of particles. These underlying particles are generated random and their state is stored in RAM. The particles are controlled by a state machine which switches between all the particles and update them if necessary. The behavior of the particles are defined by some external inputs like pseudo-random generators, collisions with other particles, image input or mouse. The first generator we discuss is box fitting. The purpose of this algorithm is to draw random boxes on random positions with the color of an underlying image. They grow until they collide with other boxes. A particle is represented by a box. The color is controlled by an underlying image. The positions are generated random and they grow until they collide with another box. It's possible to manually control the edges of each box. By changing the edge sizes and background images you can create some very cool art. The next visualization are path following particles. The particles get a random start position and follow other objects like for example other particles, the mouse or a predefined path. The particle dies when it reaches its target and another particle starts on a new position. The visualization is more user controlled than the previous one. In the last visualization, the so-called substrate, the particles also start at random positions and draw straight lines with some random transparent edges. They die when they collide with other lines and respawn in a perpendicular direction of the old particle. So only the startup particles define the main directions. Combined with the right color scheme, which is controlled by an image, it gives the look and feel of a city top view. To control the generator, we created a GUI with the following basic actions. Speed down. Speed up. Background color. Pause. Clear. Reset. And send. All the basic actions are controlled by a standard PS2 mouse. And now for the technical side of the story. The output of every particle is written to the SDRAM, which is independently read and outputted by the VGA controller. This is possible by using the 4-port RAM, together with FIFO buffers. The RAM acts like a buffer which is written and read by two clocks. The advantages of this implementation is that we don't have to worry about the VGA and concentrate on the art generation. The GUI is embedded in the VGA controller, so it doesn't interfere with the particles. As an extra, we interface the Ethernet port to broadcast the result image over UDP. The computer runs a small client which collects this broadcasted data and outputs this as an image. This allows us to create perfect screenshots and collect all the cool art generated by the system. In conclusion, with a small rule and parameter set, we created an interactive system which generates procedural art. A possible purpose is to embed it in a picture frame and put it on your desk and let the cool art decorate your room.